Hi everyone, this is May from House of Them. Today we are making this. So these are our supplies and I'm gonna link it down later. What we need today is that we need to um, get these, uh, buy these Ferrericos. They come in three per pack and uh, this is what we're gonna be covering with this um, plastic sheet. And these are packaging sheets that you can buy at any discount shop. So what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna be cutting them in 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 a in a small small size, small enough to cover the whole Ferrerco chocolate, and you shall see later on. Now um, it's very simple, really. So we just take the Ferrerco chocolate, and we are gonna be we're gonna be. Um, um, covering them one by one and we are also going to be using the scores and you can buy that at any West Zone supermarket so we just have to cover the whole uh, chocolate including that uh, that uh, that paper um, base it has and um, we're gonna be putting together inside we're gonna be inserting inside this uh, scores and then we twist it and we put a tape around it to make sure that all of the edges of these um, cellophane or plastic wrap is covered and i try to do some tape um, tape it right down to the scores so it doesn't move okay so there's one and now um we're gonna be covering the rest of these um bulb or chocolate flower bulb and for most of the um videos running time here in this video i'm gonna be um, speeding them up so that we can um, progress much more faster so it's really very easy really just we need to cover this and now they look they're looking like lollipops aren't they okay there you go and now we're, we are making a um the petal and for each bulb we need to cut around like one and a half inches by two inches of this crepe paper here i have the magenta and uh, i'm going to be once i have that little um size i have i, I want to cut them and i'm cutting them into flower petal shape okay so for each bulb we need to put at least like four four petals and so what we're doing here is that we're cutting them um one by one and so the trick here is that um you need if you don't if you don't make all those petals just try to cut a lot of these petals just try cutting them and making them and now what i'm trying to do here is that i'm trying to stretch the middle portion so that it'll turn out it'll sh look like a petal so you just stretch the middle portion and this is quite funny about crab paper that you can do this and it's quite enjoyable to do this stretching but just just on the uh, middle portion and the top portion you don't have to stretch all the way down to the bottom so very easily you just have to tape these petals all four of these there at the base of the chocolate lollipop which is now looking like a lollipop and uh, we are going to be taping them the the base of this and just to make sure that the petals cover um, the size of that bulb we can I, I think we can also put until five petals of these but for these i put um just four petals so it's perfectly all right and we just tape the the edges to make sure that they are fast and secure and sometimes i go all the way out down ta taping them all the way down to the um, to the scores so there so that, that's pretty easy to do really so there we go now we have our one bulb um like a, a, a lollipop with petals so now that we've done the rest of the of the bulbs of the chocolate bulbs uh here they are and uh, the next thing that we have to do right now is that we are gonna be making you know, this little what do you call this little um leaf at the size of it i forgot what they call that that's part of the flower so this is what we're gonna be doing now and um, I'm cutting a, a, crepe, a green crepe paper. Uh, maybe it's around three, three and a half inches by, I think, um, seven or something. Three and a half by, by four or two. And I have to cut it in this figure because 
I'll show you how it'll look really nice later on all right so let's put this aside okay so um, what we need to do is we take one and we try to twist twist the edges okay twist the edges like that so they will look more um, realistic and all four of it because See, that looks like a crown. It, it, it does matter. It makes a difference when you do this twisting in the edges rather than just leave it. And now we're trying to wrap this around the base of the bulb, just like these. And uh, sometimes I just um, scotch tape them, the first part of it. And I just twist around the screwers until all this um, red, red thing covers the whole of the bulb and just try to tape it and all the way down to the screwers so I can fasten it well. All right, so, well, some other people have a different way of doing this, but it's okay. As long as it works for you, that's fine. So now there's our first flower. And uh, now what we need to do is we need to cover the whole body, the whole score stick with the, the same green crepe paper that we use for that um, little that, that, that green thing at the, the base of the flower. So I cut this into half inch width and the length it's it's up to you as I, I started out with um, um 24 inches um because i don't want to get i don't want to get cut and i just um put glue and uh, wrap it around the base of this flower even at this point you can already see that it's looking like a really nice beautiful flower so you just have to glue the the other edge both edges you glue or you can glue the whole way the whole way around and this perfect like, okay it's up to you as long as you make it look like this flower so so there are there you go these are our really nice uh, flower ferrerica flower and um, looking at it it's so beautiful when you actually combine the the gold and this magenta and the green color it is just so elegant so now we're just we just what we did we just we taped the whole bunch wrap around a scotch tape into it and i just want to also cut the edges of these um pointy um edges of this stick and um and the next thing we have to do right now is that we need to um get a you know um, a used can because this is going to be our base and what i did here was i put a lot of glue at the bottom so that i can stick my scores my bouquet there but i'm also trying to um put a lot of some scrap um styrofoam that i have i just put it on the sides of that so they get um they fit snug and tight inside oh, well that is if you don't have any foam but i have some extra scrap so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this decorative um, um paper and for you know from for accent and i got um it, it actually is like randomly wrapped around that i do the diagonal so um oh i forgot to mention i did put some moss on there it's not really necessary but i'm just a little bit oc so i put the green moss in there i just glue it glue gun there and this last this last material is a, a tissue paper that i found this is um black tissue paper and it really goes so well with this um zigzag patterned black and white inner paper inside there it sort of gives it accent so just wrap this around there and then what i'm going to do is that i am just going to put a ribbon around it to to fasten them and tie them up and i am basically done with this a little mini bouquet for our chocolate bouquet so there you go.